Hey everybody, this is Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we're going to be talking about the G&L LB100. These are beautiful instruments, proudly made in Fullerton, California. And uh, this is an alder body with a three-ply tortoise pick guard, G&L wound, in-house wound pickups, a G&L high mass bridge, which adds to the sustain and punch of this beautiful instrument. The, uh, the neck is a quarter sawn hard rock maple, over, uh, or excuse me, under the rosewood fingerboard, GNL ultralight tuners on top, bone nut, six bolt design, which adds to the sustain and punch as well, and uh, and a very nice shape on this contoured body. You know, they've they've taken the P design and they've streamlined it. They've evolved uh, past the design of 60 years ago, 60 plus years ago, and uh, and basically made it better. This is a well put together instrument. No gaps, no problems. The, uh, the frets are smooth as can be, and, uh, and everything is just, it's just really nice. <laughs> Today's signal path is very simple. It's the LB100 into the Warwick CCL. We're using the DI on the back of this. Uncolored uh, signal up to an Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. So the LB100 is the GNL take on the P, and so it does have those nice, warm, subtle p based tones. I've got the volume all the way up and I have the tone about halfway up. And as you hear, you can get that nice round tone out of this bass. Again, nice and round, nice and warm, and you can use that for anything, your standard go-to sound, it's going to be at home in any studio. So now I'm going to take the tone knob and I'm going to roll it up all the way, uh, which is the way I prefer it. I like going full bore, 10 on both. And with this bass, it doesn't get too aggressive. It's not too in your face with the tone knob and, uh, and you can just sort of set it and forget it. So that's the LB100 from GNL, a very well put together instrument engineered by great folks out of GNL in Fullerton, California. Um, you need to check this out if you have a chance in person. Um, if not, you can go read my written review about this bass on PremierGuitar.com. While you're there, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, check out a lot of other review demos of all kinds of gear. Again, this is Steve Cook from PremierGuitar.com. See you soon.